Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jekyll here and today I will be going over my top five purchases on GTA Online. Well, personally, my top five favorite purchases of GTA Online. Today I will be going over my favorite vehicles and my favorite weapons that I've bought in GTA Online and have not regretted a single thing about these weapons or vehicles. These weapons or vehicles that I will be going over are my opinion. Um, some of you guys may agree or may disagree. If you guys have uh, any suggestions or what I should have put in, or if you guys, of course, agree with anything, please remember to drop that like and comment below, of course. And if you guys are new, please sub and drop a like on the video. It means a ton for the channel. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the top five favorite purchase list of mine. My very first weapon coming in at number 5 has been my all time favorite assault rifle for probably all of GTA Online, the Carbine Rifle. Of course this is the Mark II rifle, but back in the day, without the Mark II versions of weapons, this thing was an absolute laser beam you can use in any sort of situation with lots of enemies, because you could just knock people's heads off and it made it way easier. Plus now, with the Mark II, you can make this thing look really cool with camos, like as you guys can see I have a gold camo on, and makes it look pretty sweet and some cool um, ammo customizations and scopes too. Next on the list I have the Combat MG Mark II. The Combat MG, one thing it was missing was the accuracy as the carbine rifle did have uh, throughout its entire life cycle but now with its pinpoint accuracy from pretty much any range it's definitely one of my favorite purchases in this list. One of my favorite uh, abilities it has is, of course, the ammo types. Using FMJ bullets on cars can rip it to shreds as well as pop people's heads off and just do a ton of damage to people, even with body shots. If you are a GTA Online player like me and you do lots of missions and stuff for fun, you'll know that aiming for the head is the best bet. But with the Combat MG, you don't even need to aim for the head as it is like a two to three shot, as you guys see right here. Two shots, two about the st like the stomach area, and yeah, they're donezo. Definitely one of my top five favorite purchases of GTA Online was this Combat MG. And it comes with a huge magazine at 200 bullets. You can't beat it at all. Coming in at number three is the Insurgent Pickup Custom. This thing is an absolute tank. This is my favorite ground vehicle and go-to ground vehicle in GTA Online because A, it can take like, I don't know the exact number, but like 10 to 15 rockets. And that's like minimum. And this thing can just drive through anything. It's one of the most unstoppable vehicles online. It's not the most bulletproof, but I mean, hey, being able to run through someone's car or just blow someone up with the proximity mines. And if you have a friend or two using the gun, it is one of the most fun vehicles online. As this thing is an absolute tank, it does have some pretty cool customization options. Kind of like the armor, the level 3. I believe I have the level 3 armor and the level 4 armor has it so you're where you're pretty much bulletproof. But you can't shoot out of the vehicle so um, and I don't even have that researched and I don't really want that because I like to shoot out my vehicle. And as well as proximity mines, this thing is... Uh, Literally, you can't chase the thing either. So, if you're on another ground vehicle trying to shoot this thing with rockets or something, you can't even stay behind this thing for long because the proximity mines will end up killing you and blowing you right up. As well as the gun at the top of the thing, probably my most favorite uh, feature about this thing, other than that it can take like 15 rockets. Uh, I know that's probably not the exact number, but getting a friend on this thing and doing the most wanted challenge or just cruising and Fight, fending off the cops, running through lobbies, doing drive-bys and stuff is one of my most favorite things about this vehicle is how much people can experience it. You see me here just cruising around the town, got some cops on me. They can't stop me at all. And then I ended up uh, running into this guy up here, up ahead. This thing is also fast. It tops out at around 100 miles an hour. It can usually go faster, but... Uh, Usually it doesn't because you have to make a lot of turns, but when you're on the freeway, nothing can stop this vehicle. You see me bodying up this vehicle right here. He's got no chance at all. And of course, what I can simply do is just drop a proximity mine and watch the fireworks. Coming in at number two, of course I had to put this vehicle on the list, the Oppressor Mark II. This thing is insanely good. One of my most favorite things about this vehicle 
is its convenience. If you're in a motorcycle cl club or a motorcycle gang as a leader or uh, a helper, whatever, as a worker, you can call this thing in literally seconds. You don't even <laughs> you don't have to call up your mechanic or anything. As well as this, ho the homing missiles on this thing are absolutely insane. These are one of the most hardest missiles to dodge in the game. As you guys see here, I can just jump out of the oppressor whenever I want to and just call one back almost instantaneously with my motorcycle club menu. As you can see, it spawned right there already on my map. Um, it spawned in a stupid location because I was in a stupid like parking lot kind of place. But I mean, hey, if you're near a good road, it's really, really useful. Coming in at number one, big reveal, the Akula. My most favorite purchase online is the Akula. This thing is an absolute machine. This thing can go stealth as many people. Some people don't know that, uh, but it can become stealth if you do have the weapons away. And it has homing missiles, and it can take a rocket. Usually, sometimes, it can take a rocket depending on where you get hit from or what kind of missile it is. But yeah, this thing is an app, and it's fast too. It's very fast. It can almost keep up with jets, which for a helicopter is insanely fast. Doing research missions and uh, doing uh, resupply missions, sorry, is never been easier with an Akula because you can just go stealth mode. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my list of my top five favorite purchases of GTA Online. Hopefully you guys agreed, or if you do disagree, put it in the comments below. I'd like to see your guys' um, comments on uh, my list. And so yeah. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, and I will be sure to uh, post again uh, at some point in time. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.